Hi, this is Shereen Adams with Shereena Shack Scraps, and this is a fun project that tutorial that I wanted to share with you guys. This is the Smashbook um, album that goes in the vintage suitcase, and I'm going to show you how to create this one. This one I used using the Come Away With Me paper from Graphic 45. So let's get started with the video. And these are two other albums that I've made. In fact, you can fit three of these inside the vintage suitcase or just make a really thick vacation album. It's made of different size envelopes and cards and can be arranged in any order that suits your projects and you can add more things to it as you want. I'm just going to show you kind of the basics. Um, and it can be bound using, in this case I used my zetter or like a cinch, or you can use just jump rings and your hole punch as I bound this one. Either way is a great method. I think it would be really pretty to use like twine as well, or ribbon and different types of trims to bind it. So let's get started. First you're going to need some supplies, and let me tell you what they are. You're going to need two pieces of chipboard, one I've already covered, but these chipboard pieces measure five and a half inches by seven and a half inches. You're going to need three five by seven envelopes, and three, two to three, uh, of the cards that go inside those envelopes, a regular letter envelope, uh, this is the small size, or you can make your own, which is what I did here with my envelope punch board. I used the 4x6 card measurements on the envelope punch board, and then I used the co um, coin envelopes. Let me show you. I've painted these, as you can tell, so they're the color that I want them. They are the 6 by 3 and 3 eighths inch, something like that coin envelopes and I just use three of them but as, as I said you can use more of these things as you want to create your album. So let's get started with first the chipboard and the the front and back covers. Here I've already bound the front cover so we're going to do the same thing here. With your five and a half by seven and a half piece of chipboard you're going to need a piece of paper that measures, oh I covered up my measurements uh, six and a half by eight and a half. That's this one here. Six and a half by eight and a half. And I've already added score tape to this, as you can see. And just put it down in the center of that designer paper, just like that. And then we're going to cut off the corners. Now, don't cut these all the way to the edge of the chipboard, as you can see. Leave a little bit of a space, about as wide as the chipboard, roughly. Um, and it gets easier as you do this more often. You can just eyeball it. Get rid of my little pieces of junk here. And then I like to use my table to help wrap it. And I wrap it around and secure these things down in just a second. And get these all wrapped. And just peel off the score tape and secure it down. This is a very basic cover. We're not adding a binding or a, a binding edge to it simply because you can bind this with jump rings or a cinch. So we are just going to wrap these pieces around just like that. And <laughs> Funny side note, my three-year-old ran away with my, my good um, bone folder, so I'm using my other one. He often likes to drive away with my score tape because it is shaped like a steering wheel, and so he likes to drive away with it. I have just kind of done the edges here. It just makes a square, cleaner look, and I really like that. Now that's open. We need another piece of paper to cover this part up, and it measures three, sorry, seven and three eighths by five and three eighths. And it will just go right here, just like that. So let me hurry and get this score tape off. So simple and easy to do this. The rest of it is just kind of a mix and match of different types of envelopes and some other fun things you can do with those envelopes. Let me make sure this is... I would put it on upside down, wouldn't I? Okay. So now I have a front and a back cover to my album. Right here. 
And now you can go ahead and embellish your cover with any of the extra fun pieces and add some flowers and some fun things, whatever it is that goes with your vacation. So that's it, front and back cover. Everything else goes in the middle and is sandwiched. All right, with our envelopes, I've done this to three of, to two of them already, so I'm gonna show you how to do it with this last one. Here we go. I just seal them. And I like to actually seal them with wet glue so that my score tape doesn't stick, any of the tags inside don't stick to it. And the glue on this particular envelope doesn't go down to the sides, so I just like to make them work for me. Just like that. Then I cut off, so this is the side with the flap. I don't know if you can see it, there we go. And I like to put it in here at the like eighth inch mark and I just cut off a sliver. It's like an eighth of an inch, it's not very much. And all it does is open up that envelope on the one end so I can stick even larger tags or four by six photos would fit in here from your trip because we all know we take tons of pictures when we go on vacation, right? <laughs> While we're working on those envelopes, let me show you just a couple fun um, pockets that you can make to go on these. So this pocket here measures six inches this way by four and one quarter this way. And you can lengthen this pocket because it's gonna fold up and go on here. You can lengthen it to as tall or as short as you want it to be, but mine here is four and one quarter. So it makes a three and three quarter inch pocket. And then I have, then I better tell you what goes next, huh? Score on the one half inch on both sides and across the bottom edge. And I've inked all these, so it just makes it a little bit easier to see those score lines and added adhesive to them. To take out some of the bulk, cut these right across, right across that point where they cross. Don't leave a gap in this one. Cut those off. And then we'll take our score tape off and adhere it down. And these pockets are great for storing tickets to the museum or on the train ride or your airplane ride, whatever you want to do, or if you live here in southern Utah at all, then you can just add all your fun little paraphernalia you get when you go visit Zion's National Park or Arches or Canyonlands. You get all sorts of fun little things going on here. Now, as you can see, this pocket fits inside this card. I, can ha I have a little bit of a gutter space here where you can still see the size of the card because I like to see the different layers. So that's one thing that you can do to add to your cards. And remember, you can make it as tall or as short as you want. Another thing that I like to do is this fun diagonal pocket. And it measures four and a quarter inches this way by five inches this way. And I've scored it on one, at one half inch on this side and across the bottom. Again, I'm gonna cut off that bottom corner there. <coughs> And then here, I've measured two inches from this edge to this mark, and then again, two inches from this edge, two inches from this edge to this mark. And then I've drawn a straight line, and I'm a pretty good cutter with a very long pair of scissors. So I'm just going to cut that. And before I adhere this one down, I'm gonna take the minute to ink it, because it's kind of a pain to ink this edge once it's already been glued to my envelope. And I think I'm going to want to put it on mm, the back side of one of these. Okay. So I'm just going to remove the score tape. Fold it up. And again, I'm going to leave a little bit of a gutter space because I like that, but you don't have to. You can put it up right next to the edge, however you want to do that. And then what you're going to do with these is you're actually going to take your paper and mat, and it'll mat inside that, and then you can add all sorts of stuff. Same with this one. You'll just take your paper, measure it, and then mat inside and right here. Okay. The other thing that you can do, and there's lots of tutorials out there, and I love to do this because when I'm on vacation, I like to take a lot of fun landscape pictures, is the waterfall. And these waterfalls measure four and one quarter by three and three quarters. So it's four and a quarter this way, three and three quarters, and then I have scored across the top edge at one half of inch and added score tape. And I'm not gonna put these down because I gotta do this more 
precise, so I'll just give you the basic idea. But you fold it down and stick it wherever you want it to start on your page. And then you flip that piece up and then you fold the other one down and put it up right up next to it and stick it down and then fold it up, fold that edge under, stick it down and fold it up. And as you can see, it's kind of slowly stacking these. So when they're all flipped down, I don't know if I can get them to do this. Nope, <laughs> it won't work. When they're all flipped down, it makes this fun waterfall effect to your, to your um, envelope. All right, so those are just some three fun ideas you can do with these envelope pockets. The next thing we need to do is work on these cards, and I'm gonna give you two different things you can do that's kind of fun. Um, the first one we're gonna make look like this one, and then I'm gonna give you one fun variation off of this. And I've used my envelope punch board to create this effect. I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm actually going to put my tab on the bottom part instead of the top part to give my album a little more variation. So on your envelope, with your envelope punch board and your card, let's look at the card first. So when you open your five by seven card, this is the front and this is the back. Put the back piece into your envelope punch board at the three and one half inch mark right here. The three and one inch, three and one half mark, which is yes, in the center of your card. That's where I want it to be. And then punch. See how it makes that fun little punch mark? Now, with this one, I have the tab on the top. With this one, I'm gonna put the tab on the bottom, so you do the opposite. Put this all the way along this edge with the edge in the middle of your punch board punch part and punch. So there's my tab on that side. Now I need to get rid of this piece here. So I'm just gonna put my card in my cutter, line this up and cut this edge right off. And then to finish this up really quick, stick this back in your envelope punch board across the edge with it lined up in the center again and punch. And then with the front part of our card, oh no we can't see. See that problem? So what we need to do is cut a half inch off of the front edge of our card. So put your card in there at the half inch mark and cut off just this half inch piece. Okay. Then we can finish up with the envelope punch board by just punching these two edges here. Putting them right in the center, this line right in the center of the punch, and then the opposite, which makes just the opposite card as this one. Kind of fun. Now the fun variation to this bit here is if you use your scoreboard, my scoreboard back out here, and I put this front edge, let's see if I could do this so you can see it. So the front edge, I'm going to put it over in my punch board on this side and I'm going to score this at one and a half inches. All right, you see that at one and a half inches. Oops. And then I'm going to fold that edge back like this. And that makes another pocket, if you adhere it down, it makes a pocket here and your card still opens up like this. It's just another fun way of something you can do with these cards. To finish up really quick, um, we've got our the regular envelope or you can make one with your envelope punch board. And then I have my two coin envelopes. This one I'm just going to leave as is. I want it to be bound right here on this edge. And so it'll just be like a regular coin envelope so that I can stick trinkets or other fun little ephemera, if, I don't know if I say that right, types of things in it. <laughs> These two I'm actually going to stick in sideways so that they will flip separate from each other. And I cut this one off at four and one half inches. Get my cutter, cut this one off at four and one half inches just like that. So I have two pockets that look like that. And they will flip open this direction. Now all we have left to do is sandwich up our book 
and add any more extra fun things you want and then embellish it and add all of your fun pictures. So let's just hurry and kind of put one together so you have an idea. Let's. This is my front cover and I'm going to, as if this, as if this was my book, there's my front cover and then I want this one to be right here and then I like this envelope card and this is kind of the order in which I did the other ones and then I'm going to add let's see the coin envelope and I just place them in here and the regular envelope and then I'm going to put another 5 by 7 envelope in here and I will probably add my waterfall to this page so that it works better and then I'm going to finish folding this and glue this down in a minute and add it right here. So what I want to do, no, let's back up. I want to add these first. Let's do these first. So you can do whatever order you want. I can mix and match these to my heart's content. So much fun. I'm going to put those in there and make sure they go in like that. And then add this one and finish up with my pocket because I want this to be my last bit. And seal up my book just like that. Now you can punch all your pieces separate on your cinch or your, with your punch holes however it is you want to do that best but that is how I have made my smash book that goes inside the vintage suitcase. All right I just wanted to share a couple more things with you um, before I finish up this video. I use my Zutter bind it all to do this and I just kind of want to show you a tip. I don't know if this works with other bind it alls but this is what works good for mine. I just took a piece of cardstock and folded it in half so I had a, a center line and then here on my zetter there's these arrows that show my center line so I put my cardstock in there and then I punched out my lines and then I used this to help me line up all the pieces of my book so I took my envelope or my card or my um, coin envelopes, whatever it was, and I centered this template piece on whatever other piece it is. See how there's like some leftover edges here? And it's a, the distance is a little bit different, but I just wanted them all to be bound in the center. <coughs> okay, and then I stuck the whole thing in, lining up my folded line and my... See how that folded line lines up with the, the arrow? and then I punched all of my pieces and then of course I used this part to bind it with the the claw part but that's just kind of a tip on how I did it to find the center of every piece um, let me show you the finished project so I thought you guys would enjoy that oh it's on the floor okay here we go here is my finished album and I used the come away with me paper from Graphic 45 and here I have let me see let me get close a little bit here I added a, a simple just a simple charm I like simple charms and I made all these beautiful fun flowers they're so fun and easy to make thank you Tammy Merrill for teaching me how to make these or at least get my brain started now I just make them because it's so much fun I used a little bit of burlap and some Tim Holtz <coughs> film strip as well and see how they're all bound using just one cut of my six six punch cutter zutter cutter whatever also noticed as I open this that I have embellished all of my pages and they are complete before I bound this because as you can see it goes through the pockets the papers the envelope it goes through everything just make sure you pull your tags out before you bind them otherwise you'll bind your tags into it I've done that before too not so much fun <coughs> okay so on this side I've used my favorite image which is the hotter balloon and made a little fold out card and then here is the pocket page and I actually used the 4x6 cards from this collection and I scored it at a half an inch on both sides and then just put wet glue across the bottom to make this pocket so you don't even have to use the original one I showed you earlier but you can use the 4x6 cards as well um, and then of course I added just a little extra tag here I leave my tags very blank because I know I'm just gonna cover them with paper this is a 5x7 
Oh, focus. There we go. Five by seven piece, which means this would easily hold a five by seven photo if you wanted to. And of course, the four by six photos will fit fantastically in here. And then here is the second page, and this is what it looks like with all the various sizes of envelopes. How fun is this? And I have a flip out and a place for journaling. And then here's that coin envelope. And the back, I can put a picture underneath there. Here's that um, letter envelope that I used, that I made. And I put a slit in my envelope so that I could flip it out. And then I can add like a whole stack of photos in there if I wanted to. A whole stack of 4x6s, they would fit great. And then I just fold it back inside there. I'm trying to show you this kind of quickly. The back, here I used one of the 3x4s to make a pocket <coughs> from the collection. And it opens. This is the card. See how it still opens with this thing in it? I think that's so cool. And this is more like a layout. And I don't add a lot of embellishments in here because it's very flat and it won't, don't, won't take it very good. And here I did a belly band. So you can add this fun belly band idea. Here's that original pocket that we put on before. And then I've just embellished it and added a photo mat to it. I could even put a photo here if I wanted to. Here's that waterfall. The reason why, other reason why I didn't stick down this waterfall beforehand is because I wanted to mat this paper right here before I added the waterfall to it. And of course, if I untie this, they'll all come off. But I don't want to untie it. <laughs> it's a pretty bow. <laughs> here are those um, coin envelopes. And I have punched, I don't know if you can see, here I have only punched four holes on each side so that they will overlap and stack. So that's kind of how I did that part. I just did four holes. Okay, there's the back. And all of my tags inside are blank because I know I'm just going to add pictures and cover up all the cool paper. Here is the one where we folded back the variation, folded back this piece to add an extra pocket, which I just think adds so much fun interest to the whole project. And I still have my layout that goes inside. <coughs> the back has got another belly band on it. Here I made just a big photo mat for a big large family photo or something and the last page to put all my extra stuff in here. So that is how you make the Smash album and I hope that I answered any other questions that you might have had along the way. <laughs> and this is Sharina with Sharina Shack Scraps and make sure you visit my blog at sharinashackscraps.blogspot.com and the link will be below for more project ideas. Thanks and we'll see you later.